You got me, champ. If you want to do in my art style, my art style, my art style. In this video, you are going to learn on how to draw a furry face. That's right, that wolf furry ow, that you wanted to draw. And if you want to receive more content, you subscribe in this channel. Let's go. First things first, creating a new layer by pressing Ctrl, Shift and naming it Sketch. You want to draw your furry face in the middle, you divide it in the middle. But no, here we make beginners already start with difficult stuff because we love it. We're gonna do a three quarters perspective. Here's the middle, you cut it again. This is three quarters. This is all of the left side of the face and this is all of the right side of the face. In other words, Everything here is squished and everything here is stretched. Next step, muzzle. Different from humans that you could already start doing the eyes and everything. Here we start doing the muzzle. How are we gonna do the muzzle? You erase this area right here. And here on the bottom, you go up. Okay, is the letter C laying down. The letter C very open. And here another C. Here we're gonna go even more further. Sometimes you are going to do the mistake of doing this too short or you are going to do this too long. Try to remember that the animal that you are going to draw, it's going to decide if this is going to be short or long. In place of just going down, you are not going down like this. No, 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 no. You are going down like this. You are going a little bit curvature. And if you put this here, it's going to be around of the middle area of the muzzle, okay? If you need to rewatch any of these steps, just rewatch it and rewatch it. This is going to be even better for you to learn in your own timing. And now we are going to do the eye format. If you want a more cartoon eye, you are going to do a bigger eye, okay? But if you want a more for affinity eye, <laughs> you are going to do a more closed eye, okay? You do a line going up right here, you see? And then I go down to the middle and then I go the other way down. Let's go to the other one. It's also the same triangle. Do you see this triangle? The more stretched, the more we can see it frontally. And since it's here, it's like the opposite of stretch. It's like compressed. Do you see this direction that we did here? It's going like this, just like the eyes. It's going a little bit, but here it's going a little bit more. It's going to the side, the direction of the nose. If this line following is following like this, the nose is also going to follow like this. And we stop it right on the corner of this part. Remember, it's not the same thickness here and here. It's It gets thinner and thinner the closer it is to this part. We go down. Turning a little bit and then we turn a little bit again. This turn right here is in the same direction as this line, okay? We can erase already this line since it was only for guiding. Do a letter C here, very stretched, letter C falling down. This side is going to go even more down than this other one. And then a small curvature here. And here, a letter C. I'm always going to say that it is letter C. Some people like to do the chin very slim, like this. And there is no trouble with that. I prefer to do it more square. You can imagine the muzzle as a huge cylinder. You can imagine it as a rectangle. I prefer it as a rectangle, but you can do it as any format, serious, any format. I want to show you guys and to get already use it into doing quick fixes in the middle of your progress. And around the eye, you can do a line just following it. And in the middle, you do some shapes. And here you can reinforce the shadows. Do you see this format that I did here? Oh, we got me the line of the eye right here. So I'm gonna do it. Whoop! Here, a small line to connect it. If you want, 
want, you can do here a darker line around the lips. But if you start doing loads of them, you need to understand that there is going to follow a certain line of direction, like this. I normally do three lines, and you can do them just following it. Okay, one, two, three. One, two, three. Eyebrow movement. This. What I mean by this. You need to already have in your head the movement that you want. Let's go. And here it bends like this. And if it's bending, it's going to generate a little bit of mid bending right here. Here I did the movement of go up and down. Okay? Go up and down. What I did here, small fur, big chunk of her fur, big chunk of fur, then go back. We just make the format of the face following the silhouette, following how strong is the eyebrow. So, after this trapezium rectangle, you're gonna start doing the ear. And to start doing the ear, you're gonna do a circle. Good, you did the circle, but you're gonna do the circle squished. Like someone is up here and just trying to punch it, okay? Let's do the same circle squished, like this, okay? Circle even more squished. Remember, everything that is at this other side is going to be extremely squished. Now we can start doing the ear. How? Triangle shape. Depends if you want to do the ear looking for this direction or this direction. I'm gonna show a little bit of both. If you want to do going out, this is going to be the direction, okay? But if you want to do it going up, this is the line that is going to be str the strongest. The strongest line needs to be in the opposite direction that you want the ear to be open. So here we're gonna do one big chunk of fur, second big chunk of fur, and then we go up. Line closing. Falling down, chunk. Falling down, big chunk. I'm going to do the fur inside of the ear. Going out. We're gonna do a line inside to show the movement of the ear. Okay, for the hair. I'll be doing the format of Emo Wolfuru, Emo Dogo. And here, doing lines, soft lines following the movement. If this line and this line are following this direction, this, I'm going to do a, a more soft, gentle line in the middle, like this, okay? You can see that I did this area right here. Looks like there is a fur in a different direction, and just by doing some fur on a different direction is going to give your art a much more rich approach. Go up, close it, then you raise in the middle, go down, go up, go down, and down.
right now I press it L, selected the area of my ear. I'm going to copy it, Control C, and press Control V. And I'm just going to move it here to the area that I remember that I added. This area here is a black hole of fur. What I mean by that? A lot of fur is going to come from this direction right here. Imagine there is a little dot here and everything is coming out of that. But black holes suck, they don't just put it out. It's a black hole that creates, <laughs> that creates fur, okay? Remember, I did everything going to this direction right here. From inside, there is the ear. It's, it goes inside and then it goes out. Okay, this is going to be our first base for fur. Oh, so you're telling me that this is going to be fur, not the face format. Yes! Do you see that I'm doing the same format, but more far away? Okay, here we're gonna do very soft lines. Here I'm going to do a triangle to show shadow. We need to already have the habit of seeing that maybe close to the final, you notice that there is a mistake that you need to fix. And it does happen. And maybe not even close to the finish line, but it can be like in the middle of the process. We need to get your eye use it on searching for the mistake and fixing that. I think here you can receive more shadows to the nose. I want to do it a little bit more cartoon. Sometimes you don't want to follow realistic all the time. Sometimes you just want to do some crazy cartoon shapes that doesn't really make any sense, but you enjoy it. And it's fine. I think I'll be doing the muzzle a little bit smaller. I like doing this process of showing mistakes because people normally see that other artists don't do those mistakes. And I want to normalize that, like, hey, we do mistakes, hey! You can keep going and drawing if, if you do mistakes, it's fine! If you enjoyed this tutorial, why not leave a like, comment, and I'll subscribe because we are going to deliver the painting tutorial of the same headshot on our YouTube channel. And also, we got a Gamroad and Patreon. Go check out if you want more content. You are awesome, champ, and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye bye!